there's certain things that you might do yeah. as a person that someone else, why are you doing that? Yeah, but yeah. it relaxes you. It does, yeah. And then when you go back to doing what you're supposed to be doing, yeah. you relax because you've done what you, what, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's true. That's so true. the golf might just kind of like yeah, easy. Yeah. That's true. Know. That's true. I think he's at that age now as well, isn't it? Like, he's not doing much. Come on, man. This guy's played for Ajax, AC Milan, Juventus, Barcelona, right. Holland. Inter Milan. Inter Milan. He has played for practically played in World it, Cups. It, it, for the in his time period, he played for the biggest teams. He did. Do you know what I mean? Did. He did. He did. And with the biggest players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get what I mean? And against the biggest players, yeah. year in, year yeah. out. So he was one of the biggest players, though, as well. He was Scorpion. You know he said, "We said Scorpion Mad. King." That's why I asked him. I said, "What? What was it like playing with like Burkamp, um, Zidane? He was just like them. Them guys are just. They don't train like they just float through training." It's not like they're putting 110% in training, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm. He was like, he was saying that he was like that as well. He was like, he hated running. He hated all of that stuff. He was like, because we were so good that technically we could beat any team as well. Like when it come down to matches, we could run, but he was like, certain managers, it would just be like, yeah, we're doing this running, but he's like, for what? Why are we doing that running for? Do you know what I'm saying? Especially old school as well, old school managers. Mm. They'll be like, mate, you got to run there, do this. And you're like, but that's yeah, but pointless. That, then that, that depends. That comes down to the culture of the country as well. Yeah, yeah. You have to remember when he was playing, he wasn't playing in England that time. No, he wasn't. Even United yeah, at yeah. that point, Scholes was probably yeah, the yeah. only baller in baller. our team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone else was a good player. Yeah. King could play. King was a very good passer. Yeah, yeah. Could play. Giggs could play. Bex, that. All these mm-hmm. men could play. Even Yorkie. Yorkie was baller. like a cam slash. Yeah, 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 yeah. He would drop Second in. striker yeah, yeah, type yeah. of thing. Do you know in. what I mean? So not everyone in until Wenger came and yeah. then obviously people started getting a bit more technical in that sense. Yeah. There was technical players. Though, so mm. I don't want to be disrespectful to yeah, the old yeah. school boys, but there was this yeah. Who was that? Cantona. Cantona. Matt Manaman. Matt Manaman, yeah. David yeah. Ginola. Ginola, yeah. I'm trying to think of the other teams. There was a couple. Who was that Man City player, man? Um, I think I know who you're talking about. Um, old school. Was he like Ge- Ge- from Ge- Georgia? From Georgia. Like yeah, yeah. Is um, it Ka- Kale- Kale- Kalagats? No, 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 I butchered Killy, that name. Was it Killy? I can't remember the name, but he was techie. I know who you're talking about. He that. was techie. He played in the light blue Man City. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what was his name again? Old school. Oh, that's going to be man. That's gonna, gonna I'm going to find that. Oh, it might come later on still. Yeah, I know you're talking about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. He was a baller, but yeah, no, no, you're right, though. You're right. It comes down to culture, man. Because come... we have, as it's, look, back then, Obviously, when I was that age, I was banging out Premier Manager, LMA Manager, Championship Ooh, LMA. Manager. Oh, yeah, yeah. You took it back. I even bought... PS1? Yeah. I even bought Sir Alex Ferguson Manager. Remember that? Yeah, oh, no, no, I didn't get... I wasn't a Man United fan, innit? But do you remember when it, I it remember, released yeah, it? Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Bro, we show that age a little bit here, though. I, <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> Neither do I. Neither do I. I don't mind. Because... With age, th- it comes wisdom. Wisdom. Because yeah. them games were serious. I'll, I'll bunk oh. school, you know, sometimes. Me I'll, and, I'll tell my mum I'm sick. I'm not sick, you know. Let me give you, let me give you a backstory. Yeah. So me and uh, me and Donny Jones, yeah. we are huge football fans. Like not just me and him, but like yeah. all my mates were all football fans, innit? But me and obviously Donny Jones known each other from nursery, yeah. three, four years old or whatever. Live five minutes away from each other and all that kind of stuff. We used to bang out Premier Manager season after season because you could see matches, innit? And it was mm-hmm. quick, quick, quick. Mm-hmm. And we had a rule where yeah. basically what you'll do is. If you, you'd start a division three yeah. and once you get to the, the prem, if you get, so if you get red, if you, if you get relegated in division two, you can stay as a manager in division two. Okay. But if you get relegated in the prem, you have to go all the way back down to division three. Okay. <laughs> but what was so banter about it is that anytime you got sacked, could you get sacked so quick on that yeah, game? Yeah. yeah. yeah? Because you, one minute your finance would be like a hundred million. Two weeks later, it'd be like minus 50 million. You'd be like, what the hell was happened there? Yeah. yeah. Um, once you got relegated, you would go back to a team. There might be a prem team down there, yeah. like a villa or something. Yeah. And you go click on them, be their manager, and they will have like 200 million in the bank. <laughs> so it would be easy for you to get back up again. Bro, them games. Do you know what, though? You see with them games here, without you even noticing here, yeah, because what you just touched on is like the money situation, managing as well. Mm. <clears throat> even though it's a game, it's like for me, that's working on your skills as well. Like understanding. Mm. Obviously, it's a game. You're probably buying better players and whatnot. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But it's like understanding if I spend this much, then I will have this much. You know what I'm saying yeah. like subconsciously that's working on your, your, your management skills as well. Like money management to a low degree. Do you know what I'm saying? This might be a, like, let me put this idea out to you. Yeah. So 
managing games back then mm. compared to managing games back t- till now. Yeah. I'm talking like football manager, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is really techie, yeah. which I have played a few of them. Like you got agents fees yeah, yeah. and all that kind of stuff. It shows you all this kind of yeah. backdrop of building a stadium, getting yeah. a sponsor, all this. Like, the backdrop in football manager yeah. now is mad. I can't do it. Um, if if you're an eight year old kid who's proper into managing games and then you do that, you're telling yeah. me that eventually you can't use them skills in an actual 100%. coaching. Hundred percent. That's what I'm saying because my 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 boy plays it as you're well. You're thinking probably different. Exactly, and I'm like, right, I'm I'm, t- I'm saying to him. What's the difference now? He's telling me about this, like you said, agent fees and whatnot. I'm like, right, they're proper gone into detail. Yeah. Like back in the days, growing up, it was either player, coach, manager. Mm-hmm. Coach, manager, same thing to me back then. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Whereas now there's so many different avenues. And this is why I wanted to start the podcast as well. Yeah. Because if you weren't making at 16, yeah. you're not good enough. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? you got to go and find something else. You're seeing Wayne Rooney banging goals against Arsenal at 16. So if you're not doing that, forget it. No one told me about non-league or conference or league two or something like that. No one told me that you can go through that route and still, do you know what I'm saying, go to the Prem. It's, it's, it's doable. So, you know, you, you fall into the category of what's happening around you. Some of the stuff might not be positive, negative stuff. You go into that world, not understanding that. If you put your that energy into the same craft that you did before in terms of football, mm. you never know where it might take you. So for me, it was like, cool, can I get people within an industry? So for instance, you guys are doing the YouTube stuff, mm. but it's more than the YouTube stuff. Mm. It's still football related, but the impact that you guys are having is phenomenal, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, but you know what? Before we get into it, we've got, yeah, we didn't even do an intro. We just went straight <laughs> into it. Do you know what? That's, but that's just, what, but that's just what happens when people have a natural conversation. Yeah, natural, natural, natural. But yeah, if you've joined in now, um, I'm joined here by one of the pillars of not just SE Dons, but the YouTube football scene. I'm sure you've you've already seen the videos, you've already seen what they're doing. Without further ado, I've got the main man himself, Mitch, aka Crook. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Thanks yes, for having yes. me, bro. Thanks for having nah, me. No, no, no. Welcome, man. Pleasure, pleasure. Um, we'll start the interview from here. Yeah, yeah right, no, no, we'll, joke, well, no, no, we'll, <laughs> whatever, bro. Joke, like, like we're we're natural here, organic <laughs> stuff. It's no yeah. no gimmicks, but um. Yeah. Yeah, no, first and foremost, uh, thanks for coming down, bro. Thanks for having me, bro. Because um, I know sometimes, you know, making your way down to studios and it's a commitment. So, mm. and I was just saying to my wife earlier on, like, I appreciate people that make the journey and whatnot. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. So, um, I appreciate that. And congratulations on winning the league. Thank you. Thank you. What was that like, bro? I was there anyway. I saw the scenes, but what was yeah, that like, man? Yeah. Um, not, yeah boy, how can I really put this into words properly? Um, the fact that we've always delivered a trophy every single season, yeah, and we've always had cup finals. Mm-hmm. So it's that one day you really get to have with the fans and 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 you know think to yourself, what a glorious day we've just had. But with the league, yeah, obviously not every game you're going to get so many supporters to a game. Yeah, but. And there's not, nothing wrong with that because I mean, support is shown in so many different ways, not just by coming to a game, actually watching our program, liking our stuff, resharing our stuff. That's all support. You know what I mean? But to have them, that many fans on the last day, just how much, it, how much was it? About 400? I, I think about 400. 400 four, yeah. I, I remember at the start, Andrew, Andrew was like to me, How many fans do you think you're here? And I said, I think about three. And I think we're going to end on about five. And I genuinely believe, I think we probably ended on five. I believe so as well. I think we ended on five. And to do it at the place there, um, at the jungle, where mm. we kind of... So you got started? Or, yeah, 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 near much. enough. Yeah, 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 near enough of where we, where we started from. And the battles we had at that ground, the two Brixton games, some of the games that we've been turned over there. I remember we were playing in one game against a team called Sellers, who eventually went over and turned them over on their turf. But all the battles that we've had on that pitch, all the arguments, all the... The first ever Don's v Don's game was there. Yeah. Um, Jack Odinho made his debut there by flicking the ball over the head yeah. of, um, I think it's some team from Cambridge. Um, Ansem, I think, made his, no, Ansem made his debut in thingy, um, Dulwich. But to lift that trophy in front of that many people, and it was well-deserved, man. Mm-hmm. Look, I know people are like, ah, oh, but you know, you'll get some people who are a bit, uh, no homo, anal about yeah. it, yeah. Pause. Yeah, pause. <laughs> Um, 
Whereas Kamazi, they gave you the points yeah. or whatever, blah, blah. Listen, man, there's nothing I can do. We there's nothing we can do about it. When I got the phone call about I was in I was in Crepsolet with Lawrence and I was so disappointed because I was thinking I have to break the news to the boys that they can't even play for the points. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I was upset because I was yeah, thinking yeah. to myself, the what these boys have put through, put their bodies through for us, for the club, for the, the supporters, they deserve to go out there one last time and put their, you know what I mean, put their put their shield out there and die on their sword. Do you know what I mean? But in my opinion, we would have turned them over anyway. Yeah. But if that's how they wanted to go out, that's their, that's up to them and they have to live with that. Yeah. Because yeah, they, yeah. they pull out a team the week after that. So I was disappointed in that. And I, I do have respect for them, but I'm annoyed that, that they did it mm. that way anyway. Um, but it well deserved. It's that simple. We deserve that title. 100%. No one can take that away from us. And we're going to go for it again next year, the year after. We ain't here to just win one trophy and, and that's it. We're, right, we're, not, we're here to do basically what Man City are doing right now. Man dominate. City said, we're coming to dominate. Mm-hmm. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to uh, get the best sporting directors. We're going to make this, uh, the stadium a bit bigger. We're going to build our training ground outside our stadium. We're going to get the best manager. We're going to get the best players. And, well, the last three, four years, Man City have been clearly the best team dominate. in England. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Right? I'm, I'm a United fan, but facts are facts. Yeah, <laughs> do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't like to pretend all that kind of the emotional stuff. Yeah. Facts are facts. City have been the best team. Mm. In this country, do you know what I mean? So, and Liverpool as well, though, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, and Liverpool. Yeah. Uh, it hurts me to say that because yeah. I'm not really like Liverpool. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, 100%. So, um, lifting that trophy, I ain't even taken a picture of it yet. I'm oh, sorry. you haven't? No, not yet. Okay. Take time and it. Okay, time, I hear you. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, time yeah, and patience. Need, need time that and moment. Patience. Yeah, yeah. Need that moment. It, it will happen. To let it, it happen. sink in and that. I, I flipped Scott his picture and it was Jeez. ecstatic. So, let him have the glory first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then mine will come second. You I, know I, I, mean? I like that though. Like, even <laughs> even that, just saying that, it's like, right, cool. You, you, you have your shine for now. Yeah. Everyone's going to get their turn anyway. Yeah, 100%. But it's not like we're all going to get the shine mm. at the same time or whatnot. Because, no. Your light might mm. bright. Your light might be a little bit brighter. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? But yeah. but you never know. But no, on, on I, a, on, say, sorry, to course, bro. You, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just, let me just um, make, make people understand this as well. Yeah, see these players mm-hmm. that play for FC Don. Yeah, like I don't see them as players personally. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I yeah. see them as men. Mm-hmm. I see them as grown men that have choo- chosen to come on this journey and have put their best foot forward mm-hmm. and have helped us build. Something that has been as you as you saw on the yeah. last day of the, yeah, of the yeah. season, and as you, as you have seen when you've come to other games, because yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. And all respect to you, because you come to loads of our games, yeah, bro. Yeah. Um, put respect on these boys' names. Hundred percent. Put total respect yeah, on these yeah. boys' names because they do it week in week out for us. Don't get me wrong; everyone has a little argument here and there, whatever, blah blah blah. Yeah, but it's just the fact that we want to win. Mm-hmm. If you're in a change room where you ain't arguing. You ain't doing nothing right. I promise you that. Regardless of the Sunday league or in the Premier League, like I respect that our, our boys argue because they yeah. want the best. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I respect that the boys uh, might get annoyed with a me or a JR or Andrew or a Big G or whatever because it means something to them. Do you know what I mean? But it's not taken personal. And it's not taken personal. Yeah. And I know I can have a conversation with every one of those boys in that team and sit down with them and have a proper chinwag about yeah, yeah, yeah. life. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that means more to them than when talking about football. Mm. And I feel like just because of that, they do better on the pitch. 100%. Do you know what I mean? So 100%. make sure you put respect on these boys' names. Bro, this is the thing. This is what people don't understand here. It's like YouTube's become a TV. Like no one watches mm. TV like that anymore anyway. Yeah, because so it's like, rubbish. Yeah, it's rubbish. But you're putting, like you're saying, you're putting your reputation on the line week in and week out. It's getting recorded. People are coming to watch. And people don't understand that. It takes a lot, man, because... One bad game, everyone will be like, ah, oh, he's a dead player. Like, literally, it's like they're moving. The YouTube scene's moving like the Premier League now. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of players are getting coverage. A lot of players are in a limelight. Do you know what I'm saying? Which is, I love it. But before before we go into a little bit further into that, yeah, just my 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 take on when I first encountered the SE Dons, yeah? Mm. Um, I was in Oman. And at that time, I was by myself, yeah? Just had finished my coaching session, went home. And, um, bro, just see this. Obviously, I've known Don Strapsy of, you mm. know, music mm. and things like that. Even back in the days when I go West End and that, yeah? People like, is that Don, Don Strapsy? I'm like, nah, nah. Them times I had short yeah. hair with it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm like, nah, 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 nah. But, um, yeah, didn't have the beard as well. And yeah. then, um, but yeah, anyway, so 
clicked on it. I was thinking, right, okay, football. Seeing Don Straps, I was thinking, it must just be a one-off thing, innit? Yeah. Bro, I just got hooked on from there. Yeah. Do you know yeah, why? Because yeah. it was just genuine. What game was it? Bro, this was like Big G weren't even playing for you lot. It was one, it was one game where you lot was teasing Big G. Was I like, was in goal. Was you in goal? <laughs> I was in Obviously, goal for the first half. I didn't half. know who was who, in it. I was in goal for the first half. But I remember... And Scotty went in goal for the second half. Yeah, I didn't know And he who... ran out of the pitch and did a little... Like, it was yeah, I off. remember someone doing that. Yeah. And I was like, right, this is just like yeah. old school, do you know what I'm saying? Kicking ball yeah. with your boys and whatnot. But I remember you lot was teasing Big G. He was playing for... I don't know who he was playing for. Kenningwell. Was it Kenningwell? Mm. Okay, so he was playing for Kenningwell. And you lot was on the side or whatever. And G was like, allow it. Do you know what I'm saying? He's trying to focus on that. And um, yeah, from there, bro, I was just like, did there's something here. And like you said, season after season, mm. there's been an improvement. Mm. And also on top of that, there hasn't been a thing where it's like, all right, cool. Those boys that started, you lot are not part of this no more. You lot mm. still do XI games. Mm. They're still part of the club. Mm. They're still there on the touchline, mm. cheering you guys on, doing their part, playing their role, whatever that is. Like for me, again, like I said to you, history in the making, bro. When mm. I come down and I see that, mm. puts a smile on my face. And even what I was saying to you earlier on, even economy, bro. You lot are bringing money into the community. Mm. There's fans that I'll, when I went to the corner shop at half time, even the, um, you lot had the, the, the burger station and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, People yeah. Come, bro, that's. Big up um, Taps and, 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 and uh, Phil and Josephine at, at the jungle. Um, they put that on. Okay. They, uh, they're, they're proper people. Um, and uh, they, they, they're always, you know, welcome into any supporters we bring to the, yeah, the yeah. to the ground. And, 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 uh, do you know what I mean? And they're trying to do something down there. So, you know what I mean? Support them. Um, support them also, 100%, please. Man. Support your locals. But without without going too much, without going on a long, long rant and that, yeah. But did you ever think, yeah, the Dons will get to where it is now? Um, yes, because of hard work. Um, yeah, because of hard work, yeah. But when it comes to other things, you don't. How can I explain it? It's a it's a vision that you might have in your head, but you just don't know how it's going to play out. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But because of hard work, a hundred percent. Yeah. Because don't get me wrong, like, uh, my boy Donny Jones and obviously Chris, them man are the 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 ones that have. Just, do you know I mean? gone behind closed doors, edited, blah, 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 to get it to where it is, it's got to, yeah. to help everyone else, help them out, if that makes sense. But obviously what they started and what else everyone else has helped out with is the, the hard work has just got us to there. Does that make sense? Yeah, 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 the yeah, hard yeah. work has got us to there. I can't really put into to words in the sense of like, well, I can put it into words, but the hard work has got us there. I did expect it because of what, the, because, of the hard work that was being is being put behind the scenes and what is continued to be put behind the scenes. Um, all I've got to say is there's more to come. There's so much more to come. To it, honestly, bro. Because I know there is. Loads. Yeah, yeah <laughs> no, 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 I mean? no, 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 no. I, I, I get that and I can see, like I said, the improvement is there season after season. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? But um, how do you get a group of players like that with so much character... Yeah. I know some players might be a little bit more quiet than others. Yeah. How do you get a team like that to gel? And first, of all, how do you even find these people just to bring them together <laughs> and connect like that? Well, sometimes that, how can I explain? So sometimes, yeah, from your question, sometimes you see these comments where, ah, oh, the Dons just take players from other teams, blah, blah, blah. What people don't realise is that we play in the Orbiton Bromley division, yeah? It's a local league. Everyone knows each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a straight fact. Yeah. A lot of these boys, relationships stem 10 plus years with each other mm -hmm. before the Dons and would have, even if the Dons weren't here, would they would have still had these friendships. Yeah. So as I've said to you, look, me, Donny Jones, have known each other since we were three to four years old. Mm -hmm. Big G moved next door to me when I was six or seven years old. I have known them two for 20 plus years. Yeah. JR, the gaffer, is my older cousin. Okay, I didn't know that. Ryan King yeah. Elliot is my younger cousin. Okay. Um, then you have Zach Hansen's mom taught in my school. She was a teacher okay. assistant. I think a teacher assistant. I might be wrong, but she was a teacher in, in my school. So I haven't see, I have known, I've known her since I was in year eight. Ryan Palmer was the year below me in secondary school. Mm -hmm. um, now who is married to 
Andrew's youngest sister. Okay. So okay. I've known Ryan for 15 plus yeah. years. Um, then, then, uh, then there's Doug. I've known Doug for maybe about, I'd say eight plus years, something like that. He knows my older cousins. Uh, Mad B I met through Andrew and Andrew's doing his music 10, 11 years ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of the boys I've, I've, I've met later on, like a Dino, I met Dino five years ago, whatever, blah, 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 but through the Dons, but he's known answer since mm. secondary school. He's known Jin since secondary school. He's yeah. known uh, Nita from secondary school. He's known Fagan from secondary school. Fagan and Anta played at Arsenal together. Yeah. Then you've got Nad and Nathan Palmer, who've known each other for 10 plus years. They also went same college with Gardy, Ryan Palmer and Jazz. You find, if you pick one person out of the Dons, mm -hmm. yeah, you they I promise you they would they would have known three to five, maybe more, plus people in the Dons right now for 10 plus years. Real family club. And so I've met Flips through the, through the Dons, mm -hmm. yeah? But Flips has known Drops, who I've known since since I was a child. Yeah. But he he knows he's known him for 10 plus years. So there might be one person that I know, like, as I said, like a, how can I, how can I say, like a king, who's my little cousin, yeah. who's known Dino for a long time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. It, it, the, 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 the tree, the, the family mm -hmm. tree is, the connections are crazy. Mm -hmm. It goes, it, you know what I mean? They're so intertwined, it's unreal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So having that already, your chemistry is already there because you're comfortable with each other. Mm -hmm. I only found out the other day, my, um, that lefty went, was in the same year as my little cousin at the same school. My little so, cousin yeah. goes to me, Mitch, how do you know um, Lefty plays for your team? I yeah. said, yeah, yeah, I know Lefty. He goes, bro, he went to my secondary school. We went to the same school together. Okay. Like, and then I mentioned it to Lefty. And he goes, yeah, I know him. Do you get what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're yeah, all yeah. And we're all from South East London. Mm -hmm. All of us are from have, South East to so South West London. So you have to be from South East yeah, to play. It's a criteria. Is that a criteria? Mm -hmm. It's a big criteria. Like, boy, I can't join people. <laughs> I've got East, but i got the South. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, a big yeah, criteria. Yeah, yeah. The real generally... Yeah. General new faces are the yeah. young boys that we bring into the exercise. Okay. Rolex. Yeah. Four Eyes. Yeah. Frankie. <laughs> Dole Boy. Bro, wait, wait, wait. Who comes out with these names, though? Four Eyes is a bad boy name for this boy, fam. No, it's a sick name. A bad boy no, name no, for him. What, a bad I, boy baller. When I hear these names, it yeah. just reminds me of Snatch. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. When I watch you, like, it's just like I'm watching, like, a Guy Ritchie film. Mm. I'm watching... Old school WWE, yeah, WWE. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, that's what that's what it just reminds yeah. me. And again, like you said, there's a whole family tree there, so it's yeah. genuine. Because I know there's people like, oh, sometimes they put it on, man, blah blah. But I'm like, nah, come meet me then. Yeah, no, no, hundred percent, hundred percent. I'm like, bro, from afar mm. in Oman, I'll tell the boys go and watch SC Dons because yeah. I know it's I know Big G. Mm. I've known Big G since we played in Grays. Mm. Big G's always been the same like that. Mm. He will come in, he's serious, doesn't matter what level that you're at. Mm -hmm. He'll be quiet for a little while, and then when he understands that, no, 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 I need to talk up now, because things ain't working at the moment, do you know what I'm saying? Like, Big G was serious the whole time, he was in grace. I'd be, I'd be like, bro, this guy all right? Like, why is he, why is he shouting in that? Yeah. But, but yeah, that's, that's him. him. That's him. And that's him. two things to that. So the first thing, as you said, are, um, are they really like that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come to a Don's game. Yeah, yeah. Meet me in the street. Yeah. Wherever. Mm -hmm. I'm the same person, bro. Yeah, yeah. I enjoy life to as much as much as I possibly can. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um uh, I'm I'm quite harsh with with with, with um, ruthless with my thoughts or whatever. What but do you yeah, mean by that? I can explain it like um G, G so G and Andrew are a little bit more uh their hearts they leave their heart a little bit more than I do. Does that make sense? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. At times I do, but more often than enough, I hold people to to to, to their words, mm -hmm. accountability. Do you know what I mean? That things I've, when I went prison, I don't blame no one for me going to prison. Yeah. I blame myself for going to prison. Yeah. I don't do none of this. Oh, maybe blah blah blah. Don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna pretend like I had, had the the most fantastic upbringing. What is a fantastic upbringing? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You, how do you how do you even weigh that up? And to, to, to do you know what I mean? There's obviously certain things that are. Yeah, of course. There's factors in it that There's plays fa into it. Factors, but yeah, yeah. how can you weigh it up to it if that 100%. makes sense? But so I'm a little bit harsh with my tongue sometimes. So I'm a lot of the boys say, but I am very. I've got good listening skills. Yeah, I can sit there and listen to someone for half an hour and just listen to their problems. 
and help me. And, but, but my advice might come across harsh, but you don't understand mm. me sitting down, listening to you already shows you that I'm, 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 I actually care. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? hundred percent. Forget what I'm saying to you. If I sat down and listened to you for half an hour, yeah, yeah. well, yeah. So tell me, I don't care then. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you tell me I don't care. Yeah. You go find someone else that is, is going to willing to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might not like what I'm saying to you mm. because it might not be the truth. It might be the truth that hurts. But did I sit down and listen to you for half an hour, yes. spew what you needed to spew? Yeah, you did. Then tell me I don't care. Yeah, do you yeah. get what I mean? Hundred percent, bro. What What was so? Just to touch on a little bit of that because you know we've all we've all come from a, like I grew up in East London. Mm. Comes with a lot of stuff. Yeah, growing so up in London in general. Is growing up in yeah, London in, in general. general yeah. I'm saying so. There's times like still you know, a great city. Beautiful. Mm. There's bro, the most charismatic, the most creative people, the most yeah. intelligent people come yeah. from where we come from. But again, a lot of that suppressed with lack of opportunity, mm. lack of resources, lack of vision. Mm. It's a generational thing. They've gone through their own stuff, so they pass mm. it on to us. Do you know what I'm saying? Like for instance, my family. They've we've come as refugees. Mm. Their whole thing was that: Can we make it somewhere? Can we actually give a better life to our kids? Mm. From there, it's like they feel like not that their job is done, but we got you to a certain place. Now it's mm. for you to do it. Mm. I don't have a clue, bro. I don't even speak English. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have a Scoobies where I'm at. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. it's like you got to find your way. Same yeah, way yeah, my parents don't know. Mm. So it's like respect to them too, man. Hundred percent, bro. What? Come on, like mm. different levels, bro. Like, but then there was times where I was doing all of that. Mm. Every other week, I'm getting arrested. Yeah. To yeah. this day, I'm like, yeah. "What the hell was you doing, bro?" Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Doing things that we don't. But yeah, there's things mm. that I'm like, "That was a different person, bro." My mm. parents did not raise me up to be like that. Mm. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, for you growing up, what was that like? Obviously, you touched on you went prison and whatnot. Mm. What was the household like for you? Um, but mom was a good mom. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Do you know what I mean? Mum was a very fa fantastic mum. She done the best she, she can do. So, yeah. Sorry to cut you off, bro. Yeah. I'm not saying because mm. you went prison, mm. your parents done a bad job. Oh no, because no, you can no, come from a beautiful yeah, home, yeah. and still do other oh, things that your parents don't know. That, so. That's why I said yeah. what what account. That's why yeah, I said yeah. to you what counts yeah, yeah. as a bad upbringing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's kids, there's kids in prison now whose parents are rich. Yeah. And they've ended up in prison. Yeah. So. Does that mean their parents were wrong for what how they brought him up? They Not just tried their best. Yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Um, my mom was a great mom. Don't get me wrong. My mom was a great mom. But there's not the, the truth is there's not everything my mom can teach me. And no disrespect to 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 females or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But there's not there's certain when it comes to a boy child, mm -hmm. there's certain things that a man has to teach you. Do you know what I mean? Um, look, my dad's a good he's a he's a he's a good geezer. He's a good guy. Do you know what I mean? Could, could he been better? Of course, hundred percent. Do you know what I mean? But what I take it as, I try to take positives out of everything. Mm -hmm. So I say to myself, all right, cool. He won't like that. But when I have a child, son, daughter, whatever, I'm going to be like that. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I don't try to look at it too, too negatively. Mm -hmm. um, I probably had more of a gripe with my dad when I was younger, but I'm a big man now. I don't have no gripes with my dad. That's, yeah, yeah. that's all dead. I've got little brothers as well that, yeah. uh, uh, that maybe I'm not around all the time, but I want to try to set some form of example for them. Do you know what I mean? Whether they follow it or not is a different story, but at least I can say, well, yeah, you see me doing that, bro. Mm -hmm. I did that, but now I'm doing this. So, so what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, Do you know yeah. what I mean? 100%. So I, I, I'm, I didn't really like my mum's step uh, boyfriend. We got yeah. into sc yeah. straighteners more than, off yeah. uh, more than often. Do you know what I mean? Um, he was a bit of an alcoholic. No, he was an alcoholic. But, um, and that's why I didn't respect him. But he, I really... One thing I realized about an early age is things that I clocked that I was younger that I didn't understand, I understand now. Mm -hmm. I understood that the reason why I didn't respect that man is because he was a straight alcoholic. That's why I didn't respect him. So, but I didn't know that when I was younger. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. You just think to yourself, I just don't like this guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, but um, am I not liking him because he's my mom or something like that? Or because I want my dad to be here or whatever, to be my mom or something like is that. But I to think about it, no, it's because he was alcoholic. That's why I didn't respect you. And that's why we had straighteners mm -hmm. near enough often as i said how, um, did, how did you get to that awareness to understand that because there's people that will probably still go throughout their life like that yeah. still hate someone and not understand why mm -hmm. not hate hate's hate a strong one yeah that's man. a lot of that's a lot a, of energy but in terms of not feeling that energy not vibing with them not yeah. getting along how did you come to that awareness or that understanding that you know what i didn't really vibe with you because you was an alcoholic like you yeah. wasn't you wasn't the best version of yourself because you was yeah. intoxicated yeah 
Um, I think um, that's the thing. It's hard to know because I even knew in primary school. I'm not going to say I was a great child. Do you know what I mean? As in like the most, but I always felt to myself that I always knew because in my primary school, it was me, G, um, a boy called Reese and two girls that are only black kids in our year. Okay. Um, but I always used to think to myself like, yeah, not even your class, your year. Yeah, my year. Yeah, my oh, year. Okay. Um, in primary school. And obviously Andrew was my best friend. Mm. And and obviously George eventually became my best friend yeah, too. Yeah. But um I used to think to myself, like, all right, cool. I'm not the the best, I'm not the I'm not gonna pretend and say I was a flipping angel because I weren't. But I always I used to say to myself, like, hmm, I'm quite in trouble for that, but it weren't really worthy in getting in trouble for. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like <laughs> they really didn't need to be like that. Yeah, yeah. Like but but they're going through their stuff as well, bro. But it's that, that you're the adult. You're not allowed to do you can't True. you can't be doing that to it. Do you know what I mean? But now now that we're older, yeah. I'm like, do you know what? I understand why my teacher would probably stress sometimes. No, I get no, you know I do saying? get that. And then their reaction comes from yeah, that stress. I do get that. Do you know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is is that I get you, I get you. Um when I think about it, I think to myself, hmm. But they didn't get in trouble for that. Mm. And it was way worse than what I had. Okay. Done. Okay. So, okay. Do you know what I mean? You. And that's where I started thinking of unconscious bias and yeah, all that yeah, kind of yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah, that. But yeah. see, back you, then I didn't know it. That, back then I didn't know yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's when I got older and yeah, I started yeah. realizing certain things, yeah, thinking, yeah, bro, like yeah. you didn't need to do me like that. You yeah. could actually hundred well, percent chatted to me properly. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I, I, one one thing I realized is that one thing I didn't respond to well as a kid is um, you talking to me like I was a kid. Does that make sense? Okay. So when I chat to people who are younger than me, I don't talk to I, younger people in my family. I don't talk to them like they're children. I don't patronize yeah. them. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Like if we're joking and laughing about, mm. we're uh, having a joke with my nieces or whatever, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah maybe. But when I'm talking to them about something, maybe they've done wrong or thing, I don't talk to them like they're kids. I talk to them like, no, like you're a big person mm-hmm. because you have to hold them accountable now yeah. so they don't do bad things later. Does that make sense? Powerful, powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? We're getting, we're getting another side to the Dons boys, yeah? Well, people, not even boys, but people. <laughs> we're getting another We're getting another side, you know what I'm saying? It's not your regular podcast, yeah. but yeah, no, nah, no, nah, bro. That's amazing, though. But again, like, those skills that you've learned, again, understanding, I don't need to talk to you like a kid and things like that. Like, mm. obviously, that's a feeling that you had when you were younger, but is there any work that you've done along the way? So was there any books that you read? Was there any... Just any sort of self improvement. This is bad, yeah, but I'm not a book reader. That, but that's cool. But that's cool. I do advocate for people to read books, and I will yeah, advocate yeah. my children to read books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm extremely observant on behavior, okay, and situations, mm-hmm. and how people react to me in certain situation or react in general to situations. Mm-hmm. Extremely. I don't know why, but just I just that's just something I've just always had. It's natural. That's why I was telling you as I, yeah. when I when I was younger I knew these things I used yeah. to think but I didn't know what they was mm-hmm. does that make sense mm-hmm. do you know what I mean um until I got older so and obviously living life in general yeah one got in prison going secondary school uh working in an office which wasn't far from here yeah, yeah. um football being around different people those types of experiences kind of made me mm-hmm. think about these things more and more often listening to like because i listen to a lot of podcasts uh, stuff like that um listen to a lot of interviews like that that joe rogan's podcast i like to watch because he doesn't just interview people that i just know like or interview kevin hart or interview david beckham i don't know Mm -hmm. or whatever Mm -hmm. yeah he might interview someone that you never people never heard of like neil degrasse tyson yeah yeah yeah, yeah, you know what i mean yeah he's (laughs) Yeah, do you know what I mean? He interviewed oh, yeah, this other guy yeah. from England called oh, I think his name's Eon Adilo Adilo, who went okay. to like see the cartel in Mexico and all this kind of okay, stuff yeah, and yeah, yeah. things like that. Like, but people are like, why would you listen to that? But like, mm. I can't like I'm I'm not saying I I want to learn from people that I don't know as well. Yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? Because people, you, just because you don't know someone doesn't mean they're not successful. Hundred percent. Do you know what I mean? So if Joe Rogan's interviewing yeah. them, they've got to a certain point in life mm-hmm. to be there. Bro, sometimes yeah, the most successful people, you don't even know them. Bro. Don't how, even know how them. How about that one? And those people I want to meet. <laughs> they, I meet how about them. that one? The ones that you do know, I'm not saying they're not su- as successful, but yeah. it's like, they're the face of everything, innit? The ones behind, there's, there's always a person behind someone. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
I want to know who's the person behind that person. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Pause. I want to yeah, know that. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because like yeah. you said, it's like, there's a lot of gems. Everyone's got gems, man. Everyone's got a story. Everyone mm. can learn from everyone. And that's like, that's like for me as well. Because everyone not, sees life different. 100% mm. bro. Like everyone's mm. got their own journey. Do you know what I mean? It's like, even for instance, I've always had this, I don't know how it will come across here, but I've always had this idea. Yeah. I'm just going to say it anyway. I want to do like a show. Yeah. I don't know if it's done as well, but go and speak to, to homeless people and understanding their story. Yeah. What mm. did it take for you to get to this point right now mm. in life? Like what's happened? Because their story could be so many different stories and it could be very relatable to you. Mm. Mm. You'd be like, right, I went through that as well. Mm. Like, as human beings, we're very, very resilient. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. And I feel like I would love to just kind of get a conversation with them just to find out, like, what happened, man? Do you know what I'm saying? Because we all have our times, bro. Like, mm. Everyone can say, yeah, I'm strong mentally and whatnot, but we all have our times. Everyone right? has their weak points. Of course, yeah. bro. We all have our weak point and whatnot. So it's like, even now, I think there's a little bit more awareness of people understanding that. That's why I asked you, was there anything that you've done to be aware of certain traits that you can identify with or that you can... Um, pinpoint and be like Well I didn't like you Because of X, Y and Z Do you know what I'm saying mm. Back in the days It wasn't like that You're a man Man up mm. Allow it Please don't come with me With all that emotion stuff And whatnot. But yeah. we bottle it in so much And there's times Where we just erupt Be like where'd that come from mm. That's from things That sometimes we don't talk it, about It's about I've always think It's about um, It's about Understanding What I've been trying To train myself To, to think over the years Is what do I really need? Like when I really need to actually talk and speak about something, mm. go and speak about it. If it's something that's not really that deep, yeah. just move on. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think like, um, <clears throat> that's what I've been trying to train myself to do. It, it, it and, and I'm going to continue trying to do that. Mm. And I'm, that's what I'm going to teach my children when I eventually have some, yeah. where I'm going to be like, all right, yeah, your toy's broke, but is it the end of the world? Mm. Oh, how no. can we fix it? How can we solve right, this cool. problem solving? All right. How can we solve this issue? Mm -hmm. Do you want to learn how to try fix it? That might be a thing. That might be something that, yeah, let's do, right, do something together with your kid, learn how to fix the toy yeah. or whatever, yeah, blah, yeah, blah, blah. Yeah. Instead of toys broken, here's another toy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because then your kids can start. I'm not I'm saying I'm the bloody perfectionist, but I'm just, this is something yeah, yeah, that I yeah. think. Yeah, yeah, do you know what I mean? This, yeah. is, this is not fact. This is my opinion. Um, they might just think, oh yeah, well, uh, toy's broken. Let's get another one. I, I don't want my kids to think like that. Mm. No, your toy's broken. Can we fix that toy? Yeah. And even if you don't play with that toy, you've just learned a new skill by fixing that toy. Hundred percent. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's that saying in it, as they say, where you can't take a man. Was it to the well? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm do you know what makes you know me you know Go ahead. <laughs> you just said that. I actually got that same text yesterday from someone. Oh, so I bought a player to someone. Okay. And the young boy didn't really want to tell me that. Um, he didn't want to. He didn't want to take it too serious yet because yeah, he fell in love out of football. Okay. But in the, the guy that I sent him to, obviously, I apologized to him. I said to him, "Look, sorry for bringing someone that yeah. I didn't really think." And he was like, "No, it's, it's fine. Don't worry. You can bring me any play any time you want." Mm -hmm. But you can't take a man to the well. That's what he literally said. Then I started oh, laugh. Well. So then he just That's said, mad. "It's funny." <laughs> it's, it's true though, man. Because yeah. it's like certain things that like even like my pops would try and teach me certain things like DIY or whatever. I'm like, I don't want to do that, man. Mm. But sometimes it's good to understand that you don't need to call everyone every time just to put up a shelf, bro. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? You should just little things like that. Understand how to do so. How things. did your? Can I ask you this? How did your dad? When you? Because you said your dad tried to teach you DIY. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Did, did he have a? Did he just say, "I hey, come"? I just want to show you this. Or well, how did he teach you? So he how would, did he try? Sorry. So he was working in the construction industry. So mm. he would always say, "It's always good for you to understand how to do this," isn't it? So. Come along. Which is correct, by the way. Yeah, hundred percent. You say mm. come along, which I did. I did go certain times. Mm. Maybe the technique of the way he tried to do it maybe didn't resonate with didn't you resonate per se. With me, so but it I, might have resonated with someone else. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, because that's another thing. 100%. Doesn't mean it's wrong. Yeah, yeah. It just maybe that it, that teaching doesn't that teaching yeah. doesn't merge with you. The way he delivered it probably just yeah. didn't yeah connect with the do way you, that do you my what I mean? brain was thinking and that. But just yeah, man, like little things like that. But bro, what what, what is it like? Yeah. To live with, do you live with Donnie Jones and Big yeah, G? Yeah, yeah. What is that like, bro? Ah, oh, boy. Well, you live in a house in, uh, with men, innit? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's different. Yeah. So, like, I've been living on my own since I was 23, probably. Yeah, yeah. 
something like that. I can't really remember the age, but probably about 23. Um, I think I just finally got arrested the last time. Wow. For, um, and they run up, the police run up in my mum's house and mm-hmm. basically trashed my room and trashed the shed. And do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it was getting to that point I needed to get that. So I left and I didn't have nowhere to stay. So I just yeah. stayed in the office that I worked in okay. for a few years. Um, so that was a learning curve there in the sense of oh, I'm going to have to keep on bringing my laundry up the road. Get into the laundry because I don't yeah, have a washing yeah. machine. I have to buy a little portable cooker to mm. cook my food or whatever, yeah, blah, yeah. blah. And I'm going to have to shout at the gym, which was across the road at the time. Um, so that's what I did for a few years. And uh, then I eventually moved into a place um, in Blackie for a bit. So I learned already how to live on my own up to a degree. And at this time, um, Drew weren't living on his own. So, he na- so when we eventually moved in together, all three of us, Obviously, I'm I'm probably a little bit further ahead on living on my own understanding of living on my own, whereas them two ain't at that point yet. Because yeah. George is still living in his family home. Mm-hmm. Obviously, God rest his soul <clears> to his <throat> mum and dad, um, who've left him a, 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 a left him a, um, a house, which I, I hope that he, one day he's gonna give to his children or benefit off or whatever. Um, so I think I was a little bit further ahead. So he, at the start, it was a bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, blah, yeah, blah. And yeah. Like we're all brethren, and 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 you know what I mean. Men after a while, we get we get oh we argue it's blah blah, blah. but we just in. get along with it. Yeah, yeah, we just yeah, get yeah. on. Get, yeah. We just get on with it. Obviously, then you throw in the caveat that we, his sister lives there also, yeah, yeah. but obviously you're living with a female, yeah. so I have to act accordingly in a course, certain degree. Course, course. Like things like <laughs> I'd only bring like when she was in uni. Yeah. That's the only time I'd bring girls to the house. <laughs> but again, but that's the respect, and the only reason why I'm laughing because I've been in those situations as well where. When I moved to Cyprus, I had to share with four other players, different backgrounds. One, two from two from Cyprus, two from France, uh, and it was me and another guy from England as well. Mm. It's just like little things like the washing up. Yeah, that's massive in our house. Bro, bro, why why are you just leaving that there and what not? Yeah, yeah. Well, it got to a point, yeah. yeah I had my own plates. I had a cupboard with a key with a, I had to get a lock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It got yeah. mad like it that. So like that's that. what I'm just saying. Like, because you don't work together and you live together. Yeah, yeah. Because there are times where you're just like, bro, I just don't want to hear it from you today, man. Oh, bear, bear time. Bear time, <laughs> yeah, yeah, bear time, yeah. bear time. Yeah, bear time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to lie, loads of times. 100%. But the um, thing that what you just said about the washing up, yeah, it was funny because the things that they that George might be doing, yeah, and uh, or Andrew might have done or yeah. something like that, or mine might have done. Yeah. Um, I was doing when I was leaving my mum. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I didn't understand it until I lived, I lived my own. I thought, mm-hmm. I need to wash that up, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm automatically, once I've finished cooking or finished eating, I'll yeah. automatically wash it straight up and then put it on the side or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Whereas some, as I said, George might not be at that page yet. Do you know yeah, what I mean? 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it takes time to to get to that page, yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Uh, if, if, you know, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, 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 people argue that, I mean, it happens. But we just get on with it, really, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's always one... Good thing about it is because the fact that our office is in there, there's always someone in the house. Because mm. obviously, I've got a yeah, key to that. Uh, like, apart from us, Chris has got a key to the house too. Yeah. Um, do you know what I mean? So there's always someone in something the house. So sometimes I might leave my key in the house. An hour later, someone's in there anyway. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, that's no problem. problem. No, that's you know what I mean? Uh, there was one thing that you said earlier, and I wanted to touch on as yeah, well. On, you said about when you, with G being serious. Yeah. What's wrong with being serious? Nothing at all. That's another thing that people need to understand because I see, I see people on Twitter sometimes and on 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 the YouTube page or even on our comment section. Oh, it's only Sunday league. Why do you take it so serious? If that's what I want to do, let me do that. But then, but if, that attitude, sorry, bro, sorry, yeah. but that attitude reflects on other things in life. Mm. So whatever you do, make sure you take it serious. Yeah, that's course. something that I hold to heart as well. Mm. So even things like this with like the podcast and whatnot, yeah, but I didn't have a clue how to record. Yeah. Let alone set up a whole setup like this, yeah. record and audio, sync it in together, mm. edit. Had no clue. Yeah. Doing the thumbnail and all that. Had no clue, bro. But I'm gonna get to a level where I feel like this is good. But I want to take to that next level. Always, yeah. always, always. I'm taking it serious, bro. This is not no like I'm just doing it for the sake of doing it. Like no. Yeah, yeah. And I, that's, know you I mean. love that attitude. Yeah, that, that's what I was gonna say because when I see that, I say to myself like, why do you care if mm. he takes it serious? Yeah. Like what was it really do to your life yeah. in that split moment that mm. you got so upset that you need to message, oh, why did you take Sunday League yeah, so yeah. serious? Why did you not take so just go about your day, bro, man? Mm. <laughs> go about your day. 100 percent Like, But look at the impact that it's having because yeah. he's serious. 
look at after the game, bro, mm. the young kids, mm. where do they go to, bro? Yeah, no, that's true. It's true, hundred percent. Because, like, to me, if I'm not gonna take something serious, yeah. I just won't be involved in it, mm. and I won't pay attention to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just move on. That's it. Done. Yeah. No, no, yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? There's nothing else 100%. to think about. Why am I wasting my energy yeah, if yeah, I yeah, if yeah, I don't yeah, need yeah. to? But if man wants to take it serious, take it serious. That like, I expect our boys to take it serious because. If you are serious at something that you really like and really desire, you'll be successful at it. Otherwise, what's the point of doing anything? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There's no point in doing nothing. You might as well just chill. I don't know. Play video games or something. 100%. Well, to be fair, you should take video games serious these days because you can make money off it. Everything right now is serious, bro. Exactly. So, yeah. Do you know what I'm you even take video games serious yeah, because yeah, you can yeah, make yeah. peas off it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know oh, I've mean? seen some, some e-gamers like their, what is it, Madness. their startup money that they need to go into a competition is crazy like oh, 500 racks and that bro they're getting signed to pro clubs bro. yeah that's mad that's they're mad. getting signed that to pro is clubs crazy Redders are getting signed to psg yeah, man yeah, city yeah, yeah. i remember there was one roma yeah you you play as this team yeah, yeah and yeah. we're gonna pay you you're in a, got a league now isn't it yeah it's mad yeah, that's mad it's mad talking about leagues though yeah <laughs> you know what i'm gonna say go on do you think there should be a youtube league with all the youtube teams in it I do what's think that it? is what's stopping it. Is there enough people making enough noise? That's a good question. Or do we get, do, do or do we or whoever does the YouTube league? Do they pick a certain amount of teams mm. and then brand it to make them make enough noise? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is. Me personally, and I respect every team out there that try is trying to record, is trying to edit, is trying to put out content, blah, 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 whatever. No disrespect to them. And um, because a lot of them I've met and they're nice people, they're good hearted people and they are trying. No one is making the same product that SE Dons is making. 100%. At all. And I'm talking to, about people that are relevant to the YouTube scene in the sense of they're not in a system where they can't compete in a YouTube league, mm -hmm. i.e. a hashtag. Mm -hmm. They're a Saturday team now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They still are re, re, um, are from the YouTube scene and and they done they were successful in what they did and they moved to Saturdays. Yeah. Uh, uh, Rising Ballers have just moved to Saturdays. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I'm trying to think who else. I can't, remember, so pa I can't remember if Palmers are still doing it. I'm not sure. But um, is there enough teams making enough noise? Yeah, I think you could get at least... And if there are, mm. and if there are, are they only in England? What about the rest of the world? Is there any other YouTube teams out there? Mm. There might be. I don't know. There might be a French YouTube team that I've never heard of, but in France, they're massive. There has to be. <laughs> do you know there what I mean? Be. I didn't think I don't know. There has to Is be. There a, a, but a, then you can do you know that. I mean? That's the Champions League stuff. Or it's a worldwide league. Or worldwide league. It's a YouTube league. It's, YouTube, not, domestic, yeah. it's not domesticated. That's true. YouTube, That's league, true. YouTube is a worldwide thing. So, That's true. So what That's are you true. saying that? Our, our home games are in England, and then we play uh, Los Angeles YouTube team. Jeez. Yeah, there has we to go be. there. But there I mean, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But is there enough team? If yeah. there is enough teams making noise, mm. then yeah, of course it make it makes sense. I'm thinking, is there enough team making noise like how we're making noise? Because no. I promise you, there's no one making as much noise as we. Not got. the same. No, not the same. Definitely do not. You know but I, mean? I think what you said is like in terms of YouTube putting that sort of marketing behind these teams. Maybe that will help. That will help. That, maybe that will help. But obviously, they have to yeah. make sure they pick the right teams to yeah, market. Yeah, yeah, to market. If, you know what I mean? Yeah. Kind of like how the MLS do. Yeah. One minute, there's no team. Next minute, yeah. there's a team in the whole franchise. There's a whole franchise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe they have to do something like that. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but do, you, do you see that being doable, though? Like, yeah, why not? Yeah. Would you, would you, would you guys be interested in doing something like that? If it, if it, if it ticks every box that we want, then yeah. Yeah. 100%. If it ticks every box that we want, that the club is uh, is matched to, and it aligns everything we want to go with, then yeah, why not? I think that'll be huge, you know. Hundred percent. I think that'll be huge. Like the, the the branding, like players will actually start getting. We'll have to get paid. Oh yeah, you, you, yeah, eventually. Yeah, eventually. Yeah, you have eventually. to get paid because there's a there's a, there'll be enough money. Yeah. For it for it to trickle down. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. I think Which, you can get. I, I think, think the battle. I think the battle would be how do we keep the the authenticity of still being um be able to do what we do yeah without do, being watered down without being watered down yeah, yeah, yeah. 
because that's true. That and that's why I said yeah. if it aligns with everything we mm-hmm. do, 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 then yeah. Okay. So so if it does, mm-hmm. if it if it if if it does align with everything that we do, and you can still be who we are, we yeah. can still be what we what, what we've been yeah. doing, then yeah, of course, why not? Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, but as I said, what other YouTube teams out there are making enough noise? There's good teams out there yeah. with good players. There's good teams out there with good product, but are they making enough noise? That's true. That's true. I think yeah. Yeah, yeah, and that does yeah. not mean they're not. And this is another thing. Yeah. Maybe people understand this. That does not mean they're not working hard. Because mm-hmm. there's a thing in society where people think just because you see something to a certain degree, that means no one else is working hard. Yeah, that yeah, doesn't. Yeah. That's not true. That that, yeah. that doesn't even match up. There's people out there working their asses off. Sorry, I that's can't cool. swear. Right now, even in the um, outside us who are other YouTube teams that are trying to get it to mm-hmm. a point, and I respect them for it. Just make what I'm saying is, is that if you want to be relevant in that, if that thing comes round, yeah. uh, usually comes round, make sure that you're putting yourself in a position to be one of the teams that are invited. Mm-hmm. If that's what it is, yeah, yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? I'm not yeah. saying I know anything. Do you know what I mean? I'm just saying what I think in my opinion or, or what might happen. Hundred percent. Do you know what I mean? Hundred percent. No, you're right. You're right. I didn't. I didn't think it in that way. I was just thinking more like the. The commercial side, but also the authentic- like, authenticity of it. What you just said, like yeah, like um, I can't remember. You see, when the European Super League yeah, situation yeah, yeah, yeah. came about, yeah, 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 you have to remember the teams that they were marketing, yeah, uh, the each boys. individually, yeah. have got their own set of supporters that, mm-hmm. uh, like, m- millions of yeah, supporters. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And they're the top teams that everyone knows. Do, do you know what I mean around yeah. Europe? Yeah. So if they did do that league. Um, which I think would have crushed personally anything 100%. outside it because yeah, yeah, yeah. let's be real, people want to. If I want to watch Mbappe versus Haaland every yeah, week, yeah, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? I want to watch good football every week. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I like little swan stories and you know, the division three team beats the Premier League. Yeah, I love yeah, yeah. all of that, yeah. but eventually you're going to carry on watching. Let's be real, you're going to go watch it. You know what I mean, that's what's going to happen. I think, I think it would have got to the <clears> tourists though. I think that would have been a lot like there'll be certain times where teams won't want to play. Neymar because they don't want him to get injured or etc. Do you know what I'm saying? Certain games anyway. No, but I, I, that's where, that's where, I, because I know they was trying to say, oh, they're going to do it separate to the Champions, Champions League, League. Yeah, and yeah, separate yeah. to the Prem. Yeah, yeah. But the Prem was saying they were going to chuck them out, blah, chuck blah, blah, out, whatever, yeah. blah, blah. Let's be real, yeah. Once, if that actually happened, this yeah. is what, in my opinion, I think would have happened. Those teams would have been put in that league. All them other leagues would have kicked them out. If they did kick them out, they would have kicked them out. Yeah. And um, all the money in the sponsorships would have went to that league. 100%. Because that's where the money is. Big JP Biggest Morgan fo- was trying to fund it, bro. Yeah, people were saying, oh, like, oh, well, what about the sponsors? Yeah, yeah. Do you really... Let's go, listen, let's not be dumb. If I'm the owner of Nike and I've got Mbappe in Haaland playing in that league, you think I'm going to go pay five billion to flip in the Premier League to watch, um, no offence to them, Bamford... Yeah. And flipping, I don't know, uh, Mitrovic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get real. 100%. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What would have happened is the money in the Premier League would have been lowered because the sponsorship money, because that's another yeah. thing people don't realize. Yeah. It's not match day revenue that pays players. No, no, sponsorships, no. bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You take away the sponsorship, yeah. then you won't have players yeah. making as yeah. much money as they are. Yeah. And, and they deserve it, by the way, because they're working hard. 100%. I don't care what anyone says. 100%. You, you, and the, the fact that money, football makes that amount of money is the fact that human beings want to be entertained. Mm-hmm. So, if you don't want to be entertained, then don't put your money into it. 100%. And then you don't have to, my mum, my mum says straight, I ain't paying no, no footballer that wage, whatever, blah, blah. So do you know what she does? She cancels her sky, she cancels her BT. <laughs> no, but, but uh, do you know what I mean? I, That's I, someone I, putting their foot, to, that saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not doing it. Then yeah. you've got these other people who's complaining, saying they shouldn't earn this yeah. amount of money. Then shut up and don't put yeah. your money towards it 100%. then. The, Move it's on, this, man. It's a this. All sorts of entertainment is a form of distraction. How do you think well? Beyonce and Alicia Keys and, and Jay Z make their yeah, piece? Of course, yeah. It's entertainment. Yeah, yeah entertainment. That's football's exactly. entertainment. Yeah, you just yeah. pick on footballers because you're so dumb. You listen yeah. to these politicians who yeah. cast off or another celeb. What makes people watch? You the worst one is when you see another celebrity casting the footballer, yeah. but they're a celebrity and they're rich. And you're doing your own thing. Yeah. And yeah. then you get the, you get the support saying, "Yeah, they're right." You're like, <laughs> "Brother." Do you know how rich that person is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a fool. Why are you even listening to trust them? Trust me, trust me. I hear you. Like, hear you. footballers make the money they make. Simple fact is because human beings want to be entertained. Mm-hmm. We don't like boredom. And they sacrifice a lot of stuff, you know, bro. Of course they do. They're putting their body on the line. Oh, they're just kicking the pigskin. All right. You go into the gym. 
and to training football, bro. every single day and get to where you got to. Intense. They're a percentage of human beings on this yeah, planet, yeah. bro. They're what a percentage. One percent or something like that. They're probably barely even that. That's crazy, man. So yeah, they deserve yeah. to get their money. One hundred percent, one hundred percent, man. But oh. like to go to not waffle on, but yeah. yeah, that's what I think would have happened. All the sponsorships would have went yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Eventually, all these other leagues would have money would have been lowered. Mm. Capital and kept on getting lowered, kept on getting lowered yeah. year in year out. Teams, a lot of teams would have folded because they yeah. wouldn't be making no money mm. or whatever. Blah blah. blah. Now, with a, like us, if Sundays, Sundays will always be Sundays, even 100%. if we're not there. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because Sunday football always exists, even without us. We know that. But if we went into a Super League or a YouTube Super League with other YouTube teams, it's not it's not going to do nothing to a, a to mm. a Sunday league anyway. It's not going to not at all dismantle it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So it would make more sense for us and us for us to get involved in something mm. like that if it came about and it was the right thing to do yeah, yeah, yeah. at the time. But boy, when them was going to do that Super League, bro, that was mad. I know bro, people were pissed. Everyone was losing their mind. Like, what's mind. going on? Blah, blah, blah. And the only reason no, I was losing their mind is because of money, man. 100%, bro. We, yeah, I'm not even going to get into it because we, we all know what it was, man. Yeah. But um, what's the future hold, bro, for SC Dons? More success on yeah. and off the pitch. On yeah. the pitch, more trophies. League Cups, London Cups, yeah. FA National, all that kind of stuff. Um, Kent Cup, all that stuff. Off the pitch, success for the boys in their own businesses. Sick. Success for the, uh, for the Dons itself. Because that's another thing. People don't get, like, Dons ain't just, just Dons. Like, boys have got their own businesses that has it's, it's been helped by the Dons. People want to get like Dolby. He owns his own. Um, he owns his own. Uh, he owns his own um, window. Oh, sick. Um, cleaning company. Clean com- yeah, yeah, dope. He's had Don supporters mm-hmm. beg him to come and do that. You know what I mean? Want to support? Sick. Then you've got Lefty, who does his lifestyle stuff twenty four seven. I think twenty four seven with Lefty. Sorry, Lefty, if it's wrong, bro. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll sort it yeah. out. Um, he does his own uh, thing, which has probably been helped by the Dons. Yeah. Then you've got Doug. Big Doug, who does Lean Gang um, uh, clothing. Yeah. Then you've got uh, Montel, where he's got too easy clothing. Then you had Mad B, who's doing free to patch stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, he's doing his own stuff. I think he's doing his stuff with um, our, um, oh, what are they called? Is it RIP? I can't remember. Mm-hmm. I can't remember the name. We've got uh, Do- uh, Doctor, who's got his own uh, beard beard yeah. stuff, uh, Night in might, Summers. Might need a bit of that, dog, yeah. you know? You've you got saying? Ansa who does, uh, who clean heart, um, CHO clean heart clothing and also does one-to-ones. JR does one-to-ones, Gaffer as well. Um, so everyone's doing their own thing, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. So success for them also from from the, um, the brand helping them and stuff like that. Um, and for the Dons as, a, as an actual comp, as an actual club, <laughs> off the pitch, just, you know, just, you know, more success. I can't really pinpoint what yeah, success, yeah. but more success. Mm-hmm. I see a lot talk like we spoke about earlier on that the younger players that are coming through. Is that is that something that you you want you guys want to implement like a sort of an academy system for players yeah. to come through? It's slightly being implicated now anyway because yeah. we're bringing them through. But yeah, yeah, that's something that's always been in the pipeline. Mm. You know what I mean? It's something that we've always thought of. Um, there's no rubber stamp on it now yet, but we're bringing them through anyway because one, it's given an opportunity to local Southeast London children, children, kids. Sorry. Yeah. Um, to uh a chance to you know what i mean just to be a part of something really good mm-hmm. and help them keep them off the streets and and be a positive influence in their community as well do you know what i mean like we've got um i'm gonna give him a shout out taxi t george beckham young boy shaggy now call him <laughs> call him shaggy wait, uh, wait wait was he was he wait which ep- was he he wasn't there last game was he yeah he was he yeah. was there in it yeah he's, he's there he comes from north london okay yeah well, you um, got you lot got some people that travel down, you know. They come and help us out on the sideline. They help yeah. Jr. Help me. Help yeah. Ginge. Um, on match day before the game, mm-hmm. give the boys SIS. Help the boys with the water stuff yeah. like that. But when I think about it, at their age, I was not doing this. No. I was doing foolishness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm glad that they get to come to us at Sunday football, and experience something positive mm-hmm. from positive people. 100%. And and people might be saying, ah, oh, Mitch, man, they run around for you, man, or whatever. But I'll be honest, bro. When I was 13, 14, 15 years old, I wasn't doing what they were doing. If I if they weren't doing that and they were doing what I was doing, you'd rather them do what what we're doing. Mm-hmm. Trust me on that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Trust, Trust me, me on, on that. that. Yeah. 100%. So um, things like that, man, I'm glad that we can do things like that. Yeah. Because no. it, it, it keeps them away from doing foolishness. 100%, man. I really. 
bro, you know, I really sing you lots of praise mm. from afar, from wherever. Just the work that you guys are doing nonstop, man. It's, it's positive and I'm looking forward to it, bro. Mm. Just what you lot are coming out with, man. hundred percent. But before we, before we wrap it up, I want to do a quick fire round question with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, first one for you, your favorite Don player. Don't, don't tell me, I know everyone. Give me one, bro. I want one. Montel. Uh, I love them all, but Montel, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold See, Monts, yeah. He is everything that I would want to be in a footballer. Yeah. And the way he plays. Okay. Everything. Yeah, Monts is a baller, though. Oh, baller. He's a serious player. Serious and oh, player. congratulations to his brother who just signed his pro contract. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, it. I, I see it on Terrell Edge. Um, I see it on someone's IG. I see that as yeah, well. So big, he's just big, signed big, his big contract, up, Jolton, and um, he's played for our five side team. Yeah, yeah, I've seen him at fives a few times. You know what I mean? Dope, dope, so dope. I'm happy for him. And be yeah, Montel, 100%. Yeah. Don't go wrong. I love them all. Dio, yeah, 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 Ansa, yeah. Lefty, all them ballers. ballers. Yeah, yeah. RP7, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Big G, all of them. Yeah. SK, RJ, Matty Parsons, as all yeah. of them, bro. Jazzy Bruce, they're yeah. all fantastic. But Montel, 100%. Once, yeah. Right, cool. Next one. Your favorite Don's moment? Um. Or probably the court, probably the Cortez final. You know, what was the score? Seven nil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably the Cortez final. Final that was that was serious. Still, I think was that you lot's first final. That was our first trophy. First trophy. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, okay. first final and trophy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sick, sick, sick. Right, next one. Um, worst player to deal with. Um, who's always giving you lot grief? They all give us grief in different ways. <laughs> So I'll give you an example. I'll give you two two examples. So Dino, sometimes it's hard to deal with on a sense of he bloody just needs a hug all the time, bro. And I'm thinking, <laughs> Dino, bro. And I'm not talking literal, yeah, literal yeah, yeah, yeah. that he needs you know, to yeah, hug him. Yeah. It's just like he does this because he knows he's a football, he's a great player, by the way. Because he knows he's such a good player. He just does this like, oh, you know, I don't know. Oh boys, I'm not really that good. Oh, shut up, man, yeah. about you're not good. I got to the yeah. point where I kept on saying to him, right, if you say that one more time, I'm just going to keep on, I'm just going to say you're rubbish yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. And I remember one day he said, I said, all right, you're crap then. All right, you're rubbish. How did he react to that? <laughs> he said, oh, oh, Mitch, why are you saying <laughs> that for? You know what I mean? Um, uh, um, for me personally, I don't know, because obviously NMP is a headache for JR sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it has been a headache for us sometimes because sometimes he's late. And he loves yeah. a, he loves a, he loves a, a skanky leg uh, every 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 Saturday before yeah. a game. Yeah, 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 do you know what yeah. I mean? But one thing I respect about that boy is that he's a Don through and through, bro. Mm. Most appearances, Don of the Year, two time player, the um, uh, two time um, uh, Golden Boot winner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In our top ten goals ever scored at this club, I promise you, this boy scored eight of them. Hundred percent. He scored eight of scorchers. them. He only scores bangers. Yeah, yeah, bangers only. Bangers and mash. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's only bangers, bangers and mash. Hundred percent. That's all he scores. Hundred percent. Um, fifty plus goals for the club. He's more than that anyway. Now, um, as I said, a hundred appearances. His brother's played in a game for us in the morning and gone play for his Sunday. To, his mm. Saturday team. He, he um, he never he, like he plays XIs. He's played fives. He's played elevens. I've got two. I've got so much respect to him as a person. I know people say his attitudes, things are well, but dealing with him as a person, mm. you, 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 you are flipping gold, golden person. Trust me. Hundred percent. NMP, bro. I've got, I've got to have full respect for that man. Mm. Um, I'm trying to think who else. Um, uh, not really. Like, not a lot. To be fair. Yeah. Dolby sometimes it's hard to deal with. <laughs> um. On a, yeah. on a fact that you might be on a, don't get me wrong, I love having a conversation with yeah. Dobbs, but it might be a two minute conversation, but this boy can go on 20, <laughs> 30 minutes. You know, Mitch, Mike, Mitch, Mike, yeah. we've got, we got to do it, Mike. We've got to do it. <laughs> we've got to do it, Mitch. We've got to do it. We've got to turn him over. We've got to turn him over. So you like, say two minutes straight, just yeah. turn him back over. And that. I'm like, Dobbs, I, I hear you, bro. Nah, yeah, Mitch, yeah. Mitch, I've got, I've got, and he, his new his one that he, he gives, he says to me all the time is, Mitch, we've got to go for the All England. <laughs> That's the only one I ain't got. I've got them all. I've got London, got the league, got them all, man. I ain't got the All England. Oh, he got the All England one. Mitch, Mitch, promise me we're going to get there. <laughs> bro, do you know what's, do you know what's yeah. mad here? Yeah? It's like, you know, with the editing, yeah, it's a little subtle thing. You know what always gets me, yeah? Um, 
everything anyway is just like the little so I don't think people understand certain people don't yeah. understand it's the little subtle things that make a big difference so I think is it is it Lap Lamar um Lamar Lap and and but the one where he says they don't know they don't know the meaning of it yeah they don't know the meaning of it <laughs> no, but it's the worst thing is yeah people don't realize these things have been said in a match I know that's what I'm saying but I'm he saying said it like, to Mad B but you lot you lot are, are taking that and it's like if you know, you know, innit? Do you know what I'm saying? He's got some catchphrases that are actually hilarious, you know, and it make me laugh because I don't know where he gets it from. Like, like the nasty piece of work. Oh, yeah. You're a nasty piece of work. I'm like, where do you get that from? <laughs> bro, but it's hilarious. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny, bro. <laughs> like, I think I think this is what always gets me. I'm like, rah, if I put someone on and they're like, for the first time, they don't watch it. They're like, why are you laughing so much though? I'm like, because you don't get it. Like, you, you don't, don't get you it. You need to, you need to you go from need the beginning. The story. You, need to watch so you, story. Need to, you need to hear the story. Yeah, so. You need to watch the story. No, 100 percent man. Yeah. Um, right, last one. Um, what's the best lesson that you've learned about yourself in the last six well, last year since we've been in the whole pandemic? Um best lesson I've learned since since we're in the pandemic. Um I am more thoughtful than I thought, if that makes sense. Uh, I do a lot of things without appraisal. Does that make sense? Because I don't really want to. Tell, I don't want you to praise me because I've done something. I always think people should do things because they want to do it. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I don't. Uh, or or or. or, or uh. <laughs> um, Got a Persian rug yeah, out yeah, here. Yeah, I'm so, saying. So, yeah, cool. so 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 so. Um, yeah, probably a bit um, a bit more thoughtful than I thought. Yeah. Um, people might say different. I don't know. Um, yeah, that's how I'll probably say. To be honest, I make sure I ring my mum more often, at least once a week, twice a week. See how she is, blah blah. blah. Um, same with my sister. Yeah. Um, and that I, I I do genuinely want the best for people. Sometimes I think to myself, do I want the best for people that I don't really like? Mm. But I actually do want the best of people I don't even like. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I want them to be successful in whatever they're doing, whether me and that person agree or, or, or disagree or whatever. Um, and that I'm okay with being the bad guy. Okay. And I'm definitely okay being the bad guy. Yeah. Because sometimes the way that bad guy is needed, man, and, and, and for not even just for, for me or my own sanity, for other people. Do you know what I mean? That's what Scarface said as well, isn't it? You're yeah, okay. yeah. Look at me. Look the at me. I'm guy. the bad guy. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's that's it. Another Quello. <laughs> She'll be back in the morning. <laughs> Love that film. <laughs> hey, have you thought about doing like like not 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 stand up? Because you're not, you know, I wouldn't say you're a comedian, but like Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> no, not a comedian, not a comedian. <laughs> yeah, good. What's the word? I don't know, like just doing some sort of I know you do a bit of the voiceovers in the, the, the dons, right? And, and Andrew does a lot of voiceovers. Oh, majority he does, okay. does he does vastly majority yeah, 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 yeah. of them. But the voices that he's doing, yeah. I can do too. Do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But like, that's what I'm saying. I'm thinking you know what that. I mean? Because people that, assume it's me. That's because what I thought. People assume it's yeah, me yeah, because yeah. obviously when I'm with the boys, yeah, I banter them about their voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm like, Mitch, how do you do that? So yeah. I just, I don't know. Some people, if I'm around someone a certain amount of time, yeah. I can mimic their voice. You know what I mean? Like that makes me laugh though because people think Dino speaks like that, but to me, he does speak like that. <laughs> Boy, that's mad. leave me alone, yeah, bro. That's mad. I love you, know. you all. You're such great lads. Do you know what I mean? And that's what he's like bro. sometimes. Or like my boy Jin. Oh, yeah. this me gotta start evil. You man don't respect me. Oh, <laughs> bro. But the worst oh, thing is, by the way, that's how Jin actually does speak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love my boy Jin, but don't let this yeah. boy. That's how he speaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But. Uh, when you're around some people so often that you start, you can start mimicking their voice. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But not, not everyone can do that though. That's yeah. a talent. You know? but, but the thing is, me and me and Drew have yeah. been creating characters in our minds, talking to each other yeah. when we're like, yeah, from young, yeah, yeah. creating scenarios of how people are. Like we always banter about like, when people are singing, yeah, like yeah, yeah. we'll be singing in the English voice, saying, yeah. like, yeah, 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 cool, yeah she don't yeah. go on, lads. And we'll be like, that's the women. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With their bearded yeah. hands and blah, blah, blah. But like, we we actually banter about that type of stuff. We've yeah. always been doing that. You need to make an animation, bro. We actually spoke about this you need a couple to. years ago. You need to. And we actually thought up of what everyone would look like. Yeah. And what everyone would be. I won't say too much just in case yeah, it happens. Yeah, 100%. But you need to better. make one. You, because me and my boy, we've always, because we're similar like that as well. Me and my boy, like, we'll just start 
make him just yeah, I, I know what he sounds like or what he sounds in my head. Yeah. So, or she sounds in my head. So it's like we've always talked about it. Like we need to make an animation, bro. Yeah. Like hundred but you lot need to make an animation. You Don Strapsy. And by the way, <laughs> no one can touch him on the on the on commentary, bro. Yeah, no, it's, un- it's, it's not that's, even a discussion. That's not even a, I don't it's even have a discussion. It, 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 put it this way, because I see people on Twitter. I don't have the discussion because it's disrespectful, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one if, from my me. opinion, it's disrespectful. Yeah. If someone says to me, who's your best commentary? I say, why are you even asking me? It's not a discussion. Bro. Like, come on, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, do you think I was born yesterday? <laughs> we clearly know who is yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything the best at commentary right. and who's the best at football bars. It's 100%. not a competition. 100%. It's already been. That's that's yeah. that's done. Yeah, Let's yeah. move on to the to the next topic. To the next topic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I mean? Hundred percent. You might have still having that discussion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, bro, that's been done. Yeah, yeah, yeah nah, it's been done. Written in history. It's levels, nah. With the do you know what I mean? Nah, but as I, as I was saying about the, ask my bantering about the, uh, about the, um, imaginary people, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Me, as I said, me and me and uh, Andrew have yeah. been doing that for donkeys yeah. just me and him bantering each other yeah. about a scenario like yeah. like it to the point there yeah, like us two will be chatting about something and then i'll say one thing or he will say something and then we'll just go off on a spiral of mm-hmm. talking about oh my days and they're doing this and, yeah, they, and they're yeah, doing yeah. that and they're doing this and they're saying bro how did we get from there, to, got, there. To, from there to there yeah. do you know what i mean but as he does that yeah. nation that is and that's the worst thing about it. that's uh, uh, when you watch jesse don that yeah. is our type of banner 100 percent and when you're around us, you're like, oh, these men are actually like that. 100%. Do you know what I mean? I think that's why I get you lot as well, because I'm quite, like I said, I'm quite similar with my boy as well. Yeah. We, we, we got that same sort of banner where people just look at us and be like, what you lot on about? But yeah. if you know, you know, innit? You if know you know, you know. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. But bro, pleasure speaking to you, man. Thank you. No, thanks for coming down. Open up to, obviously, a little bit about your journey. We mm-hmm. didn't go into it too much. I think we definitely need a part two. Yeah, yeah, whenever. We might have to do one at the Don's. Yeah, probably, yeah. Come down there, that'll be sick. Um, but yeah, no, nah, bro, again, for anyone that's watching, mm-hmm. or you, if you've been living under a rock and you don't know who the SE Dons are, check mm-hmm. them out. Obviously, we'll put the link in the description. I'm sure a lot of you have, mm-hmm. have come across them as well. Um, we'll leave Mitch's stuff as well so people can check yeah. you out and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, but bro, I, I don't even want to say continue what you're doing because you're going to do it anyway. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So keep pushing, keep working. And for me, again, it's the impact that you're having. Yeah. That's the main thing for me. Entertainment is one thing, mm. but impact. I'm all about the community. I've come from a certain area myself and mm. I understand when no one's really there for you. So mm. like you said, the taxi tees that come out. The... He's going to be the next Tyson Fury, in my opinion. Does he box, yeah? He will be. <laughs> <laughs> He's got no choice. <laughs> but just things like that, bro, is like having, having role models yeah. growing up. We didn't really have many of those. Yeah. We did, but for the wrong mm. reasons. So, But it's easier to find a role model now because of the internet. 100%. And that's what I mean. But even then... In the, but at the same time, your first role model needs to be some one of your... Uh, it needs to be a parent. 100%. 100%. But then, again... Or an older, old, or, or older family member. You can't pick your parents sometimes. Yeah, but you can't. Sometimes you can't. You can't, you know yeah, 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 so, yeah, 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 yeah. But, um, yeah, bro, just amazing stuff, man. I, I can't praise you lot more. I'm saying no, 100%. the work that you lot are doing and everything like that and especially again people like yourself sometimes people don't understand the work that you're doing behind the scenes as well so can we, I ask you one question please do bro why do you think football has detached from society I think it goes back to what we spoke about the commercial commercial the, the commercial reasons I think it's got to a point where back in the days growing up we would see players because Obviously, money reasons. Mm. Like a lot of them sometimes will come into the game because they want to have a better life. Mm. But growing up, I just remember seeing players like Henri and things like that. They want to play because they want to win things. Mm. It's they have a genuine passion. Now I'm seeing players going to certain teams. I'm like, why did you even go there? You got mm. players like Oscar, who was at Chelsea. No disrespect, he's going to China getting three hundred a week or whatever, five hundred a week or whatever he was getting. Um. And that's going to help his family, generations, generations. But I think that trickles down to fans losing that connection with players because it's like, it doesn't seem genuine. But the, I hear what you're saying. The one thing I'll say about that is that you have to put, create a scenario of where everyone's background is coming from 100%. and what country they're coming from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how can I explain it? And not everyone's goals are the same. Mm-hmm. So Oscar doing that, I don't know what he was like, was like in yeah. Brazil. Obviously, I'm, I, I know some parts of Brazil are mad. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So 
if Isco is from 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 a favela, okay. I totally understand why he's yeah. going around and doing what yeah, he's yeah. doing. Do course, you know what I mean? Because he might just change that whole favela's life. Without do you know what I mean? Doubt. And not just him. Without a doubt. It's like Tevez, because Tevez went there, because Tevez looks yeah. after his entire community, apparently, yeah, 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 or something yeah. meant like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But then if it's someone like a Harry Kane, yeah. who, look, doesn't mean we don't have trials and tribulations in this country, but our trials and tribulations here are different from somewhere like Brazil. Mm-hmm. My my where my family's from Jamaica uh, or or even where your family from yeah. in Albania at one yeah. point. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you have to also put those caveats 100%, in there as well. Hundred percent. I, I think, think the only thing that has made football different from, uh, I mean, has separated it, yeah. is that footballers are not allowed to make mistakes, and we in society hold these people yeah. to non-human standards, mm-hmm. and that's why I think it is. I think that's a big part with it, without a doubt. I think. Like for me as well, I think it's, for instance, tickets to go and watch an Arsenal game, bro. That, not everyone but, can afford that, bro. Yeah, and that's another thing. That's not a, that's not the players. That's yeah, that's the, what I'm saying. The commercial. The, I think yeah, that's what's making yeah. it like, bro. Not everyone can afford to go. I remember back in the days going to Highbury, you can get a ticket. You might not get the best ticket. You know, mm. might get a Man United game, but you can get a little something, a little Leeds United, yeah, a little yeah. something. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Affordable, mm. £20 tickets or whatever, even though £20 was a little bit more fluctuation than that. Yeah. But still, like that, even things like when it comes down to contracts, <laughs> when you're like, bro, why, why is this player not playing? Because in their contract, they've got, if they play 20 games, the club has to play the other club, 20 million. Yeah. So you're like, is this manager all right? There's just a whole... But yeah, is that down to the manager or is that the club telling him not to club. do it? That's enough. Yes, exactly. Money, but it comes down That's to money again. Thing. But who gets picked on? The players. The players. Players get picked manager. on for everything. Yeah, yeah. About things... You can't hold someone, yeah, mm. to um, responsibility um, of something they don't have authority over. 100%. I can't hold a footballer to a chairman's standard mm. because the chairman owns the club. So really and truly, the buck stops at him. Yeah. It doesn't stop yeah. at lipping. Uh, Jorginho yeah, yeah, yeah. stops at Roman Abramovich mm-hmm. do you know what I mean mm-hmm. and whoever all these other sponsors are do you know what I mean so I can't hold him to that 100%. so stop moaning at players over nonsense yeah, yeah, do you know what I mean no, I'll, I'll get you you know what I mean not saying you are I'm just no, saying no no no, no. I'll, people get you, I'll get you it's like um, oh, that was that go on sorry Finish, no, no. say what you're going to say because I had signed I was going to yeah, say it's like, just even, even things like um, the owners back in the days it would be people from the community that owned these clubs I think Abramovich was like the first one that came through that was kind of like more commercial mm. and whatnot come in pumped in money majority of times for instance um yeah most of the like i don't even know the, the owner of arsenal back in the days but yeah we had people that was actually from but the community they sold for money <laughs> and Everything also comes down to money. and also yeah how, did they run the club in, in a way where because just remember before chelsea got yeah. bought wasn't my man running the club into the ground uh, who was it again? Ken, Ken Bates. Bates. Ken Bates. Wasn't yeah, he yeah, running yeah. the club into the ground? Yeah, there were not. They, yeah, but so who? Yeah. Was, then you have yeah. to ask yourself who is wrong. Roman Abramovich yeah. coming to save the club, yeah, yeah, or yeah. Ken Bates running the club into the ground? Just, no, yeah, of course, course. Do you, do you yeah, know what no, I mean? I'll get you. I'll get you. Yeah, I'll yeah. Get you. That's what I'm saying. There's you. so many caveats, or, or there's little yeah, yeah. nuances that you put into a story. It's not just yeah. well, this, this, and this. Yeah. It's not that black and that black and white. But now we got, say for instance, our Arsenal. Yeah, we got a man who does not give a damn. Yeah, now things like that. Profits. Now things like that. You have to hold the Premier League to that standard. Yeah. Now, now, and I'll explain to you yeah. why that is. The Premier League should be able to step in when a club, uh, if a chairman actually comes out and, and openly says, "I'm only in this for this," mm-hmm. then he's basically saying he's not here to compete. Mm-hmm. The Premier League should be able to step in to make sure that they can sell that so club. Legacy, you get what yeah, I mean? Hundred percent. Yeah, but that's the Premier League's fault now. Yeah. That's the next authority. Mm-hmm. What standard have you set, Premier League? Mm-hmm. To make sure when people buy your clubs, one, they're running it correctly, two, the fans are getting uh, the supporters and the fans are getting uh, uh bank their bang worth, is it bang worth their buck or yeah, buck worth their yeah, buck, whatever yeah. it is, and 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 free that these these people are actually trying to compete. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Or trying to get the club to a certain level. Obviously, there's different ways of doing it, doing it. but this man's openly basically said, I don't really care about winning. Don't give a damn. You don't care. But then it, it but then the, again, the disconnection, like for me, I tried, bro. I, I literally, yeah. I'm an Arsenal fan. Doesn't matter if we're not going through the best patch or whatever. But if I can see the structure trying. there, yeah. you're trying. Yeah. You actually want us to get back to a certain level. Mm. You can say, I can't go and spend 100 million this summer. Yeah. But what we are going to do is we're going to have a good infrastructure to bring in players that you might not know, oh. as we always did. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're not doing that anymore. Yeah. You really don't care. We're getting players. Oh, come on, bro. Like, another thing was, another thing that, was what, I think, what, um, football as well is that 
we care about the personal lives of footballers far oh, too, too much. Hundred percent. Like actually, deep. Actually, think about it. Yeah. This like on a not on a on a human level, you probably care like a little bit because you don't want people to be upset. But really and truly, we don't care. I don't care that a footballer cheated on his wife. I don't really give a crap. It's not my life, though. It's not my life. <laughs> So when you're printing in a newspaper yeah. and people are seeing like when they did that thing on Raheem Love Rap, oh come on, and they did thing on Rooney yeah, and all yeah. this kind of stuff, like yeah. I myself, like I'm thinking, why is that even the front? Mm. Like, why do you care? Mm-hmm. Oh well, uh, he, his wife should know. Uh, listen, man, I'm not gonna lie, I don't partake in foolery like that to yeah, to yeah. care or to to be like, let me go tell him. Let me go tell them. I don't need to do that. It's not my. It's not my business. It's but not think, their business. I think it comes down to people. They use that again as a distraction to what's going on. Unreal, in their yeah, life. yeah. And people cling on to those things. Yeah, he's doing that. He's doing that. And I'm thinking so. Like when Raheem got the tattoo on yeah. his leg. Okay. Bro, with that, with that, with that boy, yeah, Raheem. There might be. I was about to say. No, there might be one thing because he had the gun tattoo. Yeah. Yeah. But what if someone's got a religious tattoo on them? And a person who is religious also finds that disrespectful. Skull and bones, the players that got skull and bones. Do you get what I mean? But there's so many different things. It's like, at the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, does it actually matter? It doesn't. Because you don't even know the meaning behind that tattoo as well. That's what these newspapers and stuff have created. This whole frame around footballers or around this this engine Mm -hmm. to hate on it. Mm -hmm. And human beings hate on it. And that's why when human beings go to the, the to football, they abuse footballers, mm-hmm. not just racially, but yeah, just yeah. abuse them in general. Yeah, yeah. You in, in, yeah, in yeah. that, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then obviously sometimes race comes yeah. into it or sometimes religion comes into it. But <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. That, that, but that's why supporters yeah. do that, by the way. That, 100%. I, I, that's why they do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And like, even at our, even at the Don's, yeah, our fans, our supporters, one thing I would say, especially when we're there, they don't abuse the opposition. Mm-hmm. They'll banter them. Ah, you're rubbish, mate. Yeah. Yeah, Little yeah. things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. don't really care about Little that type of stuff. Yeah, yeah. But it's not this your mum and your yeah, yeah, daughter yeah. and all yeah, that yeah. kind of vile, yeah. weird, yeah. obsessive Man, behavior. When you, when you break it down like that, it's yeah, you're mad. a freak. You're a freak. If you're, if you're a person doing that, you're a freak. Yeah, yeah. 60,000 fans abusing players. Yeah, you're this, mate. Blah, blah, blah. And you're like, why? Yeah, because you got another top on, or like cause yeah. he plays for the other team. Yeah, or because he get sixty a week or hundred a week, mm. and you're unhappy with your life. Yeah, and Crazy. that's his fault. And but we've fault. created that. Yeah, we so have. We've yeah, created yeah, yeah, yeah. not just well, we because we part. Yeah, I would say we because we've partaken in it because we've let it happen. Mm-hmm, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. But as I said, the newspapers, all that kind machine. of stuff. They've mm-hmm. pumped that, yeah. so we hate footballers for everything they do. Mm-hmm. He crashed his car. Oh, because he gets paid that he yeah. thinks he can do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if he just crashed his car? Mm. He didn't mean to do How it. How about that? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh, he cheated on his missus. All right, yeah. what about you? What oh, you well, done? you know, well, yeah. shut up then, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you talking about, lot, man? Lot, there's a lot of hypocrites out there. So, yeah, yeah chat, and, and, and we're all we're all we're all like that. I'll put my hand up, bro. There's bare times I've done that before, and I say, nah, but he he's getting that, and I'm like, I sit down, I'm like. Yeah, but that doesn't make it right because he makes 200 mm. or whatever a week. That you still partake in by yeah, buying a course. shirt, yeah, 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 by watching football, everything by part- subscriptions. So, yeah, and, yeah you yeah, are yeah. partaking in that 100%. So, you can't if you're partaking it, that's the yeah, that's yeah. the one that, that jars me. If you're 100%. partaking in it, yeah, yeah, and to a point where it's like and you're just moaning about it, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. be quiet. If you're not even attempting, if you're partaking it and trying to change it, that's a different thing. Mm. But if you're partaking in it and you're just moaning, oh, I mm. just patch to go in a week, I'll shut up, man. <laughs> move on, move on with your day, bro. Is it coming home? Oh, what, by the way, though, what home is this? Because, because I see Casper Shamichael this morning. He was like, "Has it ever come home?" The reporter said to him, "Like, how are you guys gonna stop it from coming home?" And Casper Shamichael said, "Has it ever come home before, though?" Well, well, nineteen sixty six in the World Cup, but but that's the that's nineteen sixty six. That's the World Cup, but he's saying the Euros. No, no Euro. Well, Euros, no. <laughs> so. No, yeah, yeah. Actually, I can head. actually get that <laughs> point still. <laughs> By the way, I think they need to stop making England songs because that's, I think, the reason why we lose. But anyway, oh, uh, there's too that's much another pressure. story. Yeah, that's another but, story. Um, but is it coming is home? It coming home <sighs> I personally thought if we played Spain in a final, we'd beat them. Yeah. So I would wanted to, if we if we, if we we yeah. get through against Denmark, I would r- rather played Spain. I know people were saying, oh, but people might mm. say, no, but they'd bop it. But I think we, we were quick yeah, to beat yeah, Spain. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like there's something about Italy that I don't think will sit right with us. 
Yeah. I might be wrong. Yeah, yeah. But it's an open game final. Anything can happen. We, you and know? with Denmark, this Ericsson thing has really put a fire yeah, up yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm so yeah. happy that he's he's well yeah, now. He's all good. Yeah. But it's really given them like, a real new Lisa life. Mm-hmm. Le- yeah, Lisa life. Yeah, that yeah. You're thinking to yourself, it's not going yeah. to be easy tonight. Now nah, they're going to be on not. it. They're going to be on it. I don't know. What's the score prediction tonight? I think it's going to go to penalties. And then what? England? A 1 1 or a 2 2, and it will go to penalties. And England to win? Yeah. On yeah. penalties, yeah. Right. Just, yeah. It's not gonna be a. It's not gonna be uh, plain sailing. Let's see, boy. Let's see. But, Let's um, see. Yeah. People like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that stuff. Yeah. Make sure, man. Make sure, man. And um, Mitch, again, appreciate it, bro. Hundred percent. We'll try to do this again. Hundred percent. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. See you later, people. Cheese.